Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some romance books that we're releasing next month in September. I'm excited for September, it's my birthday month. So let's see what books are releasing on my birthday month. I'm gonna go on publication order like always and all these books are linked down below for you in the description if you would like to check them out on Amazon and pre-order them. So first on September 1st, I have Daylight by Dana Russo. This one looks so stinking cute. Our heroine Rosie moves back to London to start her new job as working as the social media manager for England's rugby team. And she didn't expect that she'd have to see her childhood crush every single day. She has to take photos of him nonstop, interview him, spend most of her free time with him, not to mention her dad is the head coach and her brother is best friends with her crush. And it looks like the hero's name is Theo and things have changed a lot since he was 22 when they had a little fling I guess. So I don't know it looks really cute. I haven't read a rugby romance yet and I loved watching rugby in the Olympics so I am down. Next I have Meddling with Mistletoe by Liz Johnson. My first holiday read on on my releases of the year. This one comes out on also September 1st. So Whitney is preparing to enter culinary school in the spring, but she has to sell enough homemade pies at the local Christmas market to pay her tuition. But her oven breaks and the inn owner nearby like lets her use the ovens. The owner agrees, but Whitney has to watch the three her three children and cook breakfast for the inn in return. There's a very interesting guest there for the holidays and she brings her nephew and she sees this other woman at the inn and it's like oh my gosh I'm gonna set up my nephew with this woman and enlists Whitney's help to help her set them up when Whitney quickly realizes I don't think they're supposed to be together I think maybe it's me I don't know so I don't know it sounds really cute I love like the culinary baking part of it obviously <laughs> next is wild eyes by elsie silver the next book in the rose hill series i haven't read this series yet but i had to put elsie silver on this list this one comes out on september 3rd i don't know what that's about i'm not gonna read it because i haven't read book number one <laughs> next i have the orc stolen bride by honey phillips i love honey phillips she's one of my favorite like monster romance authors that just writes short fun books so um this one comes out on september 5th it looks like the heroine gets thrown into like a fantasy world with orcs and she ends up meeting wolf wolf w-u-l-f <laughs> but there's a language barrier between them and yeah no i i love a language barrier and there might be also faded mates involved next is getting with the ghoul by molly ligovich she wrote the headless horseman holiday novella i read a while ago that was really fun so yeah i just put this on this list it does say it's the second book in a series so i guess i need to read the first one i didn't know that there was a first one or is it the headless horseman one oh it's a headless horseman one okay i have read the first book this one comes out on september 16th by the way so it looks like al is an like invisible man and the only person that can see him is samantha and they fall for each other Oh my gosh, that sounds actually really cute. Next is Falling by Janisha Boswell. This one comes out on September 17th. This book had so many Instagram graphics that like hooked me in. I was like, yeah, those can get me, right? This is a figure skater hockey player romance, which I love. Then is Back to Me by Katie Dugan. This is a like sapphic rom-com with fake dating. Yes, please, this cover definitely like hooked me. That's all I really need to know. It comes out on September 17th. Then is Fear the Flames by Olivia Rose Darling. It comes out on also September 17th. This is a sizzling reluctant allies to lovers romance and it's a fantasy book. And I think this author was like on book talk and like hyping up her book and so that's why I think I put her on this list. I have like a list running on Amazon of like new releases I find. So it looks like there are dragons involved. Like dragons, dragon riders, I don't know. But Elowen, the heroine, um, her dragons had stolen from her and Caden is sent to help her and seek revenge on their common enemy. Ooh, sounds fun. I love anything with dragons. All Too Well by Corinne Michaels comes out on September 18th. Anything with All Too Well? Like, yeah, Taylor Swift title, yes. Looks like this is a brother's best friend romance. For as long as I can remember, Lachlan West has been my brother's best friend and the love of my life. Trouble is he kissed me four years ago and never spoke to me again. I was doing great pretending he didn't exist until I was assigned to write an article about former college athletes. And I learned that the sexy single dad is my first interview. Love me a single dad, okay. Determined to wow my editor with an amazing sports ball piece. 
have I mentioned I know nothing about sports? I head to Ember Falls, ready to face my fears and the man I love. The grumpy quarterback turned fireman wants nothing to do with me or my article, yet somehow I persuade him to let me follow him around for a few weeks. And even if he said yes, just to get rid of me, I'll take it. But the longer I stay in his small town, the more complicated our story gets. The boundaries we set fall to the ground, along with our clothes. <laughs> Um, he holds me like I matter, touches me like I'm cherished, and kisses me like he loves me. We both know I have to leave Ember Falls and he'll never follow. I only wish I could write a different ending to our story. That sounds really sweet. I need to read more from that author. One that I saw Jess hype up that I am really excited for too is Close Knit by Denise Stone. This is a romance between, I believe, a soccer player and like a content creator who like knits for content creation. It looks so stinking cute. It comes out on September 18th. I'm for it. I'm for another one that got me hooked with like the Instagram graphics and tropes. So cute. This one looks hot. <laughs> this one is Sunsets and Other Dangerous Things by Danny Frank. It comes out on September 19th. All I need to know is this is a sapphic vampire rom-com. I, I only need to know that cover is stunning. One I've been waiting for for so long is The Wraith King by Juliet Cross. Another absolutely stunning cover. It comes out on September 24th. This one got rescheduled. I think it was supposed to be published earlier this year, but Juliet pushed it back. I've actually never read a Juliet Cross book. I know I need to. Um, I want to read like her paranormal romance books, obviously. This one like looks right up my alley though. Like look at this freaking cover. Essentially this war, the run by the Wraith King, like started by the Wraith King, he will stop it if the princess gives herself to him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Lovers by Rebecca Fubion. Fubion. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. This one comes out on September 24th. It is a sapphic romance and it is a second chance romance. It looks like one of them is like a tarot card reader, like influencer online. And then the other one is a sought after wedding planner. That's all I really know from the summary. Next is The Deepest End of Love by Lucina Connie. This one comes out on uh, September 24th as well. This is the third book in the Brightest Light series. I want to catch up on this series, so I'm not going to read the summary, but I know that these books are really good. Like Tori loves them and I really want to read them. I also have another sapphic. There's so many sapphic ones on this list that I found. Um, this one is The Dating Countdown by N.G. Peltier. This one comes out on September 26th. Again, third book in a series, but look at this cover. Look how cute this is. Love Me Dangerous by Dakota Davies comes out on September 26th and it looks like this is a romantic suspense and like a western cowboy. I don't love romantic suspense but I love it in like the ranch cowboy setting. The Wingman by Stephanie Archer comes out also on September 26th. So it looks like Hayden is our hero who is the hottest defenseman in pro hockey, is the heroine's confident best friend and her new dating coach. He'll teach her to be a player but convinces her to practice with him. So they've been friends for years but their flirting lessons and practice kisses push the boundaries of friendship. They're roommates but not sleeping in the same bed. He buys her a toy as a favor but helps her use it. Okay, yeah. Okay, um, and I love this cover. It's beautiful. The last one that I have with another beautiful cover is Slapshot by uh, Marina Luis. Maria Luis, I'm so sorry. This one is the fifth book in the Blade Hockey's Blades Hockey series. It comes out on September 27th, and it is apparently a marriage of convenience, hockey, romance. The fifth book in the series, so you're not gonna read the summary, but that cover hooked me for sure. Anyways, there you have it. Those are the romance books that I know that are coming out next month in September. Let me know down below what books you would add to this list because I always am wanting to know new releases that y'all are excited for because I can get excited for them too, learn about new releases. So yeah, if you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me a ball of yarn emoji for the, the knitting one. That one looks good. Okay, <laughs> leave me a ball of yarn in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.